Hello, student. Let's let us solve a question from CSR NET 2023 December. Question ID is 705051. This is basically from atomic physics. The topic subtopic is okay. And if you see that maximum time, you'll get a question from normal Zeman effect uh, that is of five marks in CSR NET. Okay, and this kind of problem we used to solve in the class. So, so the question is given that. In a solar probe, uh, probe mission, in a solar probe mission, the ship of delta lambda by lambda, that is 10 to the power minus 5, for a spectral line of wavelength 630 nanometer within the sunspot. And also it is mentioned that this ship is caused by normal Zeeman effect so you have to find the closest value of magnetic field that you find okay so interesting question uh, this uh, this kind of problem i solved in this uh, qip class itself okay similar kind of problem so let us solve this as you know in normal zeeman effect that is observed for a uh, singlet atomic case when s equals to zero and for normal zeeman effect you will get three spectral lines one will be pi component and there will be sigma plus and there will be sigma minus so this shift is known as zeeman shift this shift in the energy that is e sigma plus minus e pi or e pi minus e sigma minus this shift is always mu b times b this is uh, true for normal zeeman effect okay now if you see uh, from here that e is nothing but hc by lambda that is equals to mu b b okay so from here hc is common so you can see that hc then delta on by lambda that will be mu b b which implies now hc then uh, delta 1 by lambda that will be 1 by lambda square delta lambda i have to take that value of magnitude because i'm uh, going to investigate the shift in the wavelength okay shift in the wavelength it means wavelength value of this minus this when you are going to shift in the uh, going to see that shift in the energy, then energy of this line minus energy of this line. But when you are going to see that uh, uh, Zeeman shift in terms of wavelength, it means wavelength of this minus this. So you have to always you have to take that magnitude value. Okay, and this will be mu b. Okay, it means from here I can say that magnetic field that will be H C then. I can rearrange because this delta lambda by lambda value is given and then you have on by lambda and further the remaining is on by Bohr magneton. We means here Bohr magneton. Now just I substitute the values. So you know H is Planck constant. This is 6.63 into 10 to the power minus 34. Then C is the speed of light in SI unit that will be 3 to 10 to the power 8. Then this delta lambda by lambda is provided 10 to the power minus 5 and then on by lambda. So lambda is 630 nanometer, in meter it will be 6.3 into 10 to the power minus 7, right? And you know the value of Bohr magnetron in SI unit, that will be 9.27, 9.27 into 10 to the power minus 24 joule per tesla, 10 to the power minus 24 joule per tesla. So if you rearrange this, so you have 6.63, then this 3 divided by 6.3 and then remaining 9.27 now i'll collect that power so you can see you have well so this is minus 34 s right i forgot to write minus 4 so this will be 10 to the power minus 34 and then plus 8 minus 5 and if you see this so minus 7 minus 24 that will be minus mm, 31 Right, so it means uh, 6.63 into 3 divided by 6.3 into 9.27, and 
and then for if you see minus 34 8 minus 5 means 3 so that will be uh oh sorry sorry this will be plus 30 ohms so this will be right because minus 7 minus 24 that is minus 30 on if you bring it uh in the numerator that will be plus 31 so this uh all together is um uh up to this this is minus 31 this plus 31 so this 10 power 0 okay so this is nothing but one okay so now if you calculate this value that will be around the 0.34 so according to the given option that will be close to 0.3 so option c will be the correct Thank you very much.